Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. So I can already tell by the title and thumbnails of this video, people are gonna be like, Connor has officially lost it. I thought he was getting back to normal, but now he has officially gone crazy. He's staring at the sun for 30 minutes every day. He's gonna go blind, right? Well, no, I've been doing it for a while and my vision is, is still on point. But I admit that I'm totally crazy. We've already gone over this, but the practice that I've been doing is actually this practice called sun gazing, which has been around for a very, very long time. You can actually see artwork of ancient civilizations staring at the sun. Okay, so it's been around for a long time. It's very prevalent in the spiritual community these days. Now, it's something that is not backed by science. Not a lot, there's a little bit out there, which I'll get into in a minute. But if you're someone who's like, oh, you know, if it's not studied by science, it can't be beneficial or it can't be true. Well, this video probably isn't for you, man. All right, I would stick to your scientific practices. But if you're more open-minded than this, you might get a lot of value out of this video. But again, I am not recommending this. All right, so YouTube police, please don't get upset with me. This is not something that I'm recommending. I'm just telling you my experience with the whole sun gazing process. So what is sun gazing? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory, man. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. You literally stare at the sun, okay? But Connor, staring at the sun, isn't that gonna make me blind? I've been told since I was a kid that it's gonna hurt my eyes. Well, maybe it will, maybe, if you stare at it in the middle of the day when the UV radiation is high, but if you stare at the sun during the first hour of sunrise or the last hour of sunset, the UV radiation is so insignificant that it cannot cause any damage to your eyes. Okay, you can actually look up a UV index graph of your area and kind of see when the UV index is low. I make sure to only sun gaze when the UV index is below one. The common rule is to only sun gaze the first hour of sunrise or the last hour of sunset. And that's how you don't damage your eyes. So the sun gazing practice is alleged to have a ton of benefits like decreasing your hunger for one. That's actually why I started doing this during my 40 day fast, just on the off chance that it could decrease my hunger. Did it? Uh, we'll get into that later. Um, two, it's supposed to improve energy levels, you know, reduce stress. It's supposed to apparently, you know, heal certain diseases, okay? It's supposed to stimulate the pineal gland. You can actually grow the pineal gland, which can lead to elevated levels of consciousness, improve meditation practice, just, you know, higher levels of awakening, possibly, right? And so those are all the kind of alleged benefits. Are they true? Maybe, not sure. I'll tell you the benefits that I've experienced, okay, later on in the video. But so is this legit? You know, have there been scientific studies? Well, kind of, okay? There's this guy named Ratan Manek. I hope I'm saying that correctly. But he's this Indian guy, okay? And he's probably the most famous sun gazer. He's written about the whole process. And he's actually been studied by Thomas Jefferson University and Pennsylvania University. They followed him around for something like over 100 days. And he has been known to not eat. Apparently he's been fasting since 1995. So that's many, many years of fasting. And is that true? Has he really not intaken a calorie since 1995? I don't know. Okay, maybe, maybe not. Um, apparently he does drink water and a little bit of buttermilk. So apparently he's taken in a few calories, but other than that, he's pretty much been fasting since 1995. Is that true? I don't know. I have an open mind to it. And these colleges, they studied this guy and they followed him around. And yes, he didn't eat. He, he sun gazed just like he said. And yeah, so apparently his story kind of checks out. Also the most interesting thing though, if you don't believe any of that, if you think he was somehow sneaking in food during those days, they measured his pineal gland and it was three times bigger than the average adult, okay? And you know, he obviously contributes this to his sun gazing practice. So that's the most interesting part. Most of the time, your pineal gland will actually shrink with age. His apparently has actually grown. So that's really, really interesting. So this is really the reason that I'm doing it, right? Spirituality purposes, elevating my level of consciousness, um, increasing the size of my pineal gland for more spiritual experiences, right? Yeah, you know, it'd be cool if I reduced stress, reduced hunger, that's cool, but those things are pretty much in check. So I'm kind of doing it for the pineal gland purposes, right? So let me show you guys how I do it, all right? I like to do it in the morning, okay? You can do it in the morning and in the night. You're actually supposed to start off slow, right? Only 
you know, a few seconds every day and gradually build up. So I'm at the point where I do it 30 minutes to an hour every morning. And as long as the sun is up, that's the thing. I have definitely skipped some days because, you know, here in Austin, it's definitely cloudy some of the time. So I can't sun gaze every day, but every time the sun is out, I will go and do it. So I've done it for the past around 60 days. You know, I started during the 40 day fast and I've been doing it ever since. And I think it was somewhere around the middle of the 40 day fast. So here's how I do it. I go out to this, you know, kind of naturey part of my apartment complex. All right, I got my little chair there. I sit down and yeah, I just stare at the sun. You know, it's not complicated. I do, one thing that's interesting is I do take my shoes off, okay? And I am in contact with the earth. So I'm also in this process practicing this thing called earthing or grounding. That's a whole nother video. I'll probably do a video on that. But there's a lot of benefits from actually being in contact with the earth and actually getting the earth's electromagnetic frequency. And when you combine that with sun gazing, that can be extra beneficial. Uh, the guy, uh, Ratan Manek, he advocates for grounding while you sun gaze. So I make sure to do that. And yeah, I just sit there and stare at the sun and it's kind of a meditative practice as well. So the benefits that I get out of it short term is immediately after I feel very present, okay? And whether that's because the sunlight is stimulating my pineal gland or not, that's up for debate. It's most likely just because I'm uh, engaging in a meditation practice. You know, it's object meditation. So when you stare at an object and become very focused on it, that's simply a type of meditation. It's a way to train your awareness and you know, obviously you'll feel a lot more present afterwards. So if anything, if anything, if you stare at the sun for 30 minutes straight and you use that as an object of meditation, you're gonna get some meditative benefits from it, okay? Other than that, afterwards, I definitely feel kind of an increased amount of energy. Now, usually I do it in the morning, so I might just be waking up. Also, I mean, that's how we're designed, right? When we see light, it's supposed to increase our energy because that signals, yo, it's daytime. Same thing when, you know, we see darkness, then our energy is supposed to decrease because it's telling our body's telling us it's time for sleep. That's why when you look at your smartphone before bed, it's so hard to go to sleep because light actually keeps you awake, right? So that makes sense why my energy would be increased. Um, other short-term effects, my eyesight is a little wonky right afterwards, but it's the same as if you were staring at any light, okay? You'll kind of get uh, that kind of effect where you, you'll blink afterwards and see, still kind of see the light for a while. That goes away very quickly. But yeah, as far as long-term effects goes, it's hard to say what effects I can contribute to sun gazing because there are a lot of variables at play, right? I've been recovering from a 40 day fast. I've been doing a lot of other self-improvement, self-development practices. So it's hard to say exactly if these improvements that I've been experiencing have been caused by sun gazing. Cause I have been feeling like I've been able to meditate a lot deeper. I've been having some pretty cool meditative experiences. Okay. I've been able to get a lot deeper, but again, I've been meditating more and more as well, right? Um, I've also been less hungry, but <laughs> obviously, I mean, that makes sense because I'm recovering from a 40 day fast, okay? So did the sun gazing really help me on my 40 day fast? I don't know. I mean, I completed it, right? Would I have been more hungry if I wasn't sun gazing during the 40 day fast? Maybe, but there's really no way to know, okay? Um, am I feeling less stressed? I, I mean, yeah, I'm feeling great. I feel absolutely great. But again, I don't know if I can contribute this to sun gazing or not. I know I can at least a little bit because 30 extra minutes of meditation a day is going to have all the benefits that 30 minutes of meditation is going to have. So if you meditate by staring at the sun, I mean, it's going to have all the same benefits as, as just meditating in general. Okay. So that's one thing that I know that sun gazing helps is all, you know, it helps you get all the benefits that meditation would give you. Now, there is one thing that I am theorizing that sun gazing has improved, okay, that I have noticed, and I don't really think that the other things that I've been doing in my personal development, spiritual work, have been contributing to this. But again, this is just a theory. But my dreams after I started sun gazing have been much, much more vivid, and I've been able to recall them in more detail and more of them. Whether I'm having more dreams, I don't know. I just know that I'm able to recall more dreams. 
and you know, I'm waking up in the morning, the feeling of the dream is much more potent, right? So I'll actually awake with, I'll actually awaken with that feeling, that emotional feeling of the dream, if that makes sense. And, and my dreams have been, the probability of them being lucid are much more high. So if you guys don't know what a lucid dream is, it's essentially while you're aware that you're in the dream and a lot of cool things can happen, right? And for me, I've actually been meditating during my lucid dreams. So when I realize that I'm dreaming, I actually meditate during my lucid dreams and that is supposed to allow you to go to a very, very deep level of meditation. And I can tell you that it absolutely does. Um, a lot of Eastern spiritual teachers will tell you that it's a shortcut to awakening if you can learn how to actually meditate in your dreams. So that's been very, very beneficial. And I have a feeling that you know, the stimulation of the pineal gland, hopefully my pineal gland is growing from the sun gazing practice. I have a feeling that that has had a real impact on my dreams. Cause all these other benefits that I've experienced, well, I've noticed them throughout other points in my life from doing these other practices, right? But I've never had such intense experiences with dreams before. So that could be a cool benefit. Um, and again, I don't know if this is true. I don't know if any of this is true. This is just my experience. Um, again, don't take my word for it. Don't believe anything I say. The only thing that you can trust is your experience. And I don't recommend this at all. Just telling you my experience. So yeah, no one sue me if they go in and uh, burn their eyes up from the sun because they didn't listen to only do it during sunset or sunrise. But um, yeah, that's my whole sun gazing practice. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you guys some cool insights and perspectives. And yeah, if you guys want some more spiritual content, check out my Patreon, link is in the description below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys, peace.